Hello everyone, and welcome to my first Blender tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick car game. So, I'm, we're going to make the car, and we're going to make the car playable with our keyboard. Now, first, you want to go to the view, then side. So, this is the side of our car that we're going to make. Then, uh, select the scale manipulator make this a bit longer because we're going to add the wheels here and there so we're going to have enough space then you're going to add the wheels by clicking by left clicking anywhere you want and then press space add mesh and circle make sure this is filled and hit ok now go to the front view move this circle just next to the chassis and then rotate it um, to the vertical position okay it doesn't have to be really perfect so um, yeah once you've done that then just move the wheel anywhere you want go to the uh, side wheel again and you can scale it like by pressing the S okay uh just yeah this is okay so I'm just gonna leave it like that now you want to add a more realistic look to, to your wheels so press uh, so first press tab then press E to the exclude and then press region to add a wideness to your wheel okay so about this is enough uh, once you've done that go to the object mode and then move your wheel just next to the uh, chassis that, that just made now I'm gonna place it okay so after you've done your first wheel uh, we're gonna make it three more okay but now we're gonna duplicate the first one to the others okay so to do that uh, hold shift but make sure you have selected your wheel first so hold shift press D and then just move your wheel to the other side so you can see it duplicated the first wheel okay and do the same thing with the other wheels so shift hold shift D and here we go move anywhere you want hold shift D and just move it to about here Now we got our four wheels and we have our chassis, but the car still doesn't look great. So to make it look better, just select your chassis and go to the add modifier at the bottom here. Click on that and go to subsurf. Now as you can see, the chassis looks a lot better now. It looks more detailed and looks a lot better. Uh, once we've done that, just move the wheels again next to the uh, chassis of the car. Like that. Okay. You can also uh, add more detail to wheels by adding modifier uh, and go to subsurf. So now we got the same looking uh, detailed wheels. Go to subsurf and subsurf now this looks a lot better than the last time if you want you can also move the wheels again and okay now this now this looks really uh, now you can see the wheels looks next to the uh, chassis but they're not stick okay and to make it stick you have to make parent so to do that select your wheel then hold shift and uh, right click on your chassis so now you have selected both and once you select both control P and make parent now here I have just uh, sticked the two of these each other do this process with the uh, other wheels so shift hold shift and control P uh, select it, uh, hold shift, select the body, control P, 
key. Do the same thing with the last one. And yeah. Um, so now there, you can see there's tick now. Uh, we have no problems. So now when I'm gonna uh, move my car, uh, you're gonna see the wheels will come with the car. Uh, so they're not gonna stay there. Now, once you've done that, you can now start adding keys to make your car move forward. So to do that, just click on your chassis, go to the panels, just next to it, uh, you can see a logic button or F4. Um, then you can see here it says static actor ghost invisible in advance. Leave this on static, okay? Because if you select rigid body, it makes a lot of problems. So make sure this, this is on static, okay? Now add you can see here three ads okay so just press on all of them and in the first one it says always okay but change that to keyboard so I'm gonna use my keyboard to make my car movement okay so make sure to select keyboard alright now select the key select the key that you wanna uh, move your car with so I'm gonna press W to make my car go forward okay and once you've done that uh, just take your um, like connect the lines between these two uh, dots you see here or circles like I just did just hold it and connect to the other one now uh, in the third one okay this is where you uh, select the speed of the movement of the car uh, to make it go forward, you have to select 0 0.10, which m my car goes forward, as you see. And to, to play the game, you have to press P to test it out. Okay, so my you can see my car goes perfectly forward when I press W. But I think you can see when I move my car, the wheels doesn't spin at all. And to do that, well, I have to select my uh, wheel in the logic mode I make sure it's static okay uh, click on three ads here okay and then uh, do the same thing go to the keyboard so when I'm gonna press W the wheels will turn in the same time as I move my car connect the lines stick it with the uh, uh, with the circles then now, uh, what we're gonna do? Well, we're gonna go in rotation and make this 0.10 in the third one. Rotation, third section. So now, uh, when I as I move my car, the wheels spin like it should. As you see, now they spin. Well, on this one. Now, do this with the other ones. So, just click on it, add. Uh, keyboard W uh, stick the lines and go to rotation zero, uh, 0 0.10 okay you can just click on the arrow here to make, make it okay so do, do the same thing with the other ones whoops okay uh, connect the lines or the keyboard, W, and rotation. Uh, hold on, just to make sure. Okay, yeah. Now you can see the spins. And do the same thing with the last one. Keyboard, connect the lines, W, and 0.10. Now this is the part one of my video. Uh, now I'm going to make a part two of it. So yeah, because we're running out of time. So see you guys in part two.